Don in London, hello. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My daily video sharing a bit of experience, strength and hope about how to stay in recovery from my addiction to alcohol and also behaviour, my behaviour, fixing on people, places and things, work and relationships. So one day at a time I stay sober. That's the time span that seems to work for me. So I have a lot of joined up days now and that's quite nice. But I'm ever mindful that it's very easy to slip. So I have tools at my disposal, 12 steps of action to change my attitude and behaviour on a daily basis. And I share here from the Daily Reflections a book from Alcoholics Anonymous, part of their literature or our literature. I don't speak for AA, it's full of unique authentic speak people who speak for themselves. So this is just one voice and we need here many voices in order to find our own path in recovery. We remain unique authentic people with one similarity. And for today, July 9th, the reading is as so. I am an instrument. And it goes to say, humbly asked him to remove our shortcomings. And the him concerned here is God. So whether we believe in God, our def definition changes or differs from each other in some way. For me, it's God is truth, love and wisdom of others. And to remove my shortcomings, if I stay with truth, love and wisdom of others, my shortcomings, which are my own beliefs and opinions and fears and ego, are, I suppose, held in check. It goes on to say, the subject of humility is a difficult one. Humility is not thinking less of myself than I ought to. It is acknowledging that I do certain things well. It is accepting a compliment graciously. God can only do for me what he can do through me. Humility is the result of knowing that God is the doer, not me. So that's truth, love and wisdom. In the light of this awareness, how can I take pride in my accomplishments? I am the instrument and any work I seem to be doing is being done by God through me. So we work through. I ask God on a daily basis to remove my shortcomings. For me, the overwhelming ones are fear, very facing and ego. In order that I may more freely go about my AA business of love and service, which for me I take into my whole life, love and service, to love, be loved and useful. And when it's difficult and I cannot share with another human being what's going on, I do have the serenity prayer at any time of day to help me keep calm and then seek help. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference is just for today.